Hi everyone and welcome into my Witcher 3 playthrough. <clears throat> Why did I say it like that? Hi everyone and welcome into my Witcher 3 playthrough Heart to Stone DLC. Last we left off, we got a little bit derailed. That it's me. I always get derailed. But we were over here. We pretty much did a quest where we met a Witcher from centuries ago who needed our help and we of course had to be there. But I think today is the day that we move forward in the main quest. Can you guys tell I'm not ready for anything to ever end? I've been saying that for at least 30 episodes by now, but that's because will we ever find a game that hits this hard? I don't know. I think it's time to go ahead and get our last wish slash quest from Olgeard, which was to go to the manor because we are looking for a rose, a flower that he gave his uh, wife. And so I think this is gonna be a really good storyline. However, However, um, I am going to derail us already because, because we have this one little treasure hunt to, and this is to get gear. We have two out of four, I think. So I think we should go do this really quick, should we? To start off the episode and then we'll jump into the main storyline. I admittedly haven't played Witcher in probably almost two weeks because I got, I got incredibly sick for like three plus weeks. I still sound a little bit nasally um but we are getting through it so thank you guys everyone for your patience while i was traveling for work and then i got sick for three weeks and like barely posted i promise i'm here and i appreciate you guys waiting for me oh my god I, when they start out with this music when i first start on the game it just does it for me Okay, so we're looking for the place the Fury Merchant was attacked. Hey girl, what's going on here? What am I looking for? Oh, this? Hmm. I want to look around some. Yeah, what's going on here? Bloody fight looks like. Folk in the tavern didn't stand a chance. Tracks lead north. Oh, that's a lot of feet. Okay. Trail's gone cold. Mm. Need to look around. See if I can pick it up again. Someone was wounded. Started bleeding heavily. Why does it look like it's only one person now? What happened? Wonder what this means. Oh. Hmm. Took a traveler hostage, I guess. Hmm. Blood trails the hostages. Must have been a burden if they left him here to die. Lost the trail. Gotta look around for something else. Found it. Oh, Leads oh. this way. Okay. Trail ends here. Hmm. Dirt and ground cover concealing a hatch. Secret passageway. Okay, let's go in here. Oh god, that was really cursed. Dear god. Alright. Oh. Hey, girl. Hey, ladies. Absolutely not. Not the archers. Ooh. 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 Oh. Got that one. No, 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 no. Come on, come closer. Oh, it's my first day. First day on the job. Oh, we got. Oh, we sliced him right in half. Come here, baby girl. Got him. 
combat just comes to me just naturally because I'm just that. You know what I mean? Just that good. <laughs> just a natural witcher. Letters of the orders, armor diagram untranslated. Yeah, we're taking all this. Let's read the orders. Robe, I've given you a whole month and nothing. No progress. Diagrams are just damn incomprehensible as when you started. So that's it. Enough. You're to do the following. Keep one diagram and stare at it until you hit on something and send their others to the other camps. Maybe some of the rest of the lads ain't quite so dense and I'll, and I'll manage to translate those damn scratchings into something we can use. This alchemist camped over by B... By the bee yard of seen spend most of their lives poring over books so send the drawings to them send a second to a band that occupies brick ruins by the lake one of the lads there is supposed to be ordained a reverend he knows strange tongues and to transfer our base into the bogs near an abandoned village a lad there is formerly a library assistant send him the third for inspiration try using your head translate this robe robe is a pain in the butt? Is that what? Well, we've got uh, three out of four, so I guess we've done some of those already. Search the remaining bandit camp. Okay, so we just got one more, I guess, huh? Oh, we're over encumbered. Oh, God. Y'all are going to yell at me. Don't do it. Oops. Oh, God. Okay, put that back on. Okay. <laughs> Before we go to the next one, I'll go sell stuff. Be quick about it. The problem is, is I just like adventuring. I like to hoard everything and collect stuff, but I also just want to keep adventuring. Especially when I'm filming. I just want to keep going. Okay, where's the other camp? Oh, okay. Let's just sprint through the woods and then uh, I'm going to pour out really quick. Go sell some stuff. I don't think there's a merchant here, right? No. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? Um. What do you have on offer? Let's see what I can sell. Um, I feel like some of these I don't, what is this? I think this is just random swords, right? Yeah, Flame of the Rose. His own of coin. That's my problem. So long. I know there's also um an armor an armory, but it's like is it this guy? Welcome. Welcome. Show me what you have in stock. Oh, these are really heavy. There, is that better? My armor is like half. I am going to just sell these swords just so I have room. I know they don't sell for as much, but like, I think y'all be fine. It's either we sell them for less or you guys yell at me that my inventory is always full. You know what I mean? Okay, 60 out of 160. It's not that bad. Now we can continue our journey. So long. Let's quickly see if we can get this last page that we need, and then we're back yeah, on to going to the banner. As towards him he draws you, his tongue sharp and silvery as he implores you. 
Your wishes he grants as he swears to The kids are still singing. Do you think they're real? Why are they singing? Someone in the comments told me that Looks like rain. Odim like follows you around in the main story, but like in the background. And I haven't noticed it yet, but the fact that someone said that gives me the biggest creeps. But also I love it, but I'm also traumatized, but also I'm down. Do you know what I mean? Hey! It shall be over soon! Get him from the left! Not the left. Oh come on! Oh, no, absolutely not. Oops, didn't need to do that. Blood, brothers! Eternal fire! You want some of this? Another archer? Where? You're on my list, bestie. Oh, there's multiples. Faster for fuck's sake! Who's the other archer? How do you wish to die? Whoop! Whoop! Death! There's another one. Which one is he? Ah! Whoo! We shall cut you, vermin! Spells! Spells! Excuse you. Oh my god, my arm is broken. Can I get up here? Oh. Oh my god. I know we could just easily use a sign, but I am trying to get a little bit better at like, you know, giving them a little parry and stuff. Come on, come closer. Shit. Oh my god, I'm trying. I'm trying to get better at it, but we could just also do this. Most people be like, why don't you just use the science? It's faster. I'm just I'm just learning. Plays a million hours in the game. I'm just learning. I'm just a baby. Oh my gosh. What do we have for loot? We got sandwiches. What else we got? Fried fish, love it. Lots of swords. Oh, the fuck that sound is. Okay, gauntlets diagram. Letter with the orders. A cavalry saddle. Dagger in unknown tongue. Do more orders. Hmm. Return diagrams to the Ophiri merchant. Okay. Let's go loot around. What is that? Oh, the spiders. Gross. Okay. Oh my god. Why is it so big? Jeez. Kinda traumatized. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? I kinda don't love how big they are. I find that rather repulsive. Okay. Okay, here's the merchant. Hey, I got things. It is to see you again. Quite the pleasure. Um. Managed to recover all your diagrams. Mm -hmm. Ah, want to be relied on. This I knew. You restore the faith I might have in men. 
for I've now received aid from a stranger in even this land most barbarous. Don't mention it, really. As agreed, I shall draft your duplicates, though it may take a day. Be so kind as to return tomorrow. Your reward I will have for you. All right. Tomorrow, then. We're sleeping and instantly getting this. Like, I, I want... I want to I want nice things. Plus I know once I leave I will uh, get distracted. So can you just meditate in 24 hours? Like how tomorrow? Like tomorrow tomorrow or like tomorrow? Hey buddy, I'm back. It is to see you again. Quite the pleasure. The diagrams, they're duplicates. Ready? In fact, yes. They are yours to take with my gratitude. Thanks. Farewell to you. We got Ophiri gear. Oh my god, so fun. Scale armor? That sounds kind of sick. I kind of wish we could see it before I make it. We did it, everyone. Okay, now. Now we're going to do our quest with Old Geared. Um, with two wishes down and one more to go, Geralt reported back to Olgierd. Then he received his third final task, which, following the vein of its predecessors, seemed nigh unto impossible to complete. Olgierd wanted Geralt to find and bring him the violet rose he had given his wife the last time he saw her. As many, many years ago, the flower is not noted for their longevity. The rose has certainly disintegrated by now, yet Geralt has grown used to finding the unfindable. And by doing the undoable, nevertheless, he set out to try and recover this flower of yesteryear. Are we ready? Struggling. Um. Oh. We can just run there. Is that the one that got burnt down? Hi, Roach. Hi, sweet baby. Giddy up. Time to be fast. Oh. Slow now. Oh, I never like a state. Okay. Anyone there? Oh my God. You scared the shit out of me. Mighty rusty and covered in creepers need another way in. Hey! You hear me? Why am I so creeped out right now? Anyone there? Hello? Kendrick. Kendrick. You there? Not so loud. Ah! Oh, God scared me off. No, you scared so me. I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them, believe me. F Foglets? Oh, sweet mother, my little, why I ever come here? Good question. What are you doing here? See, Kendrick and me, we thought man has been empty all these years, full of fine things going to rot. And... Mm hmm. So you're a thief. Thief steal from the living. W what's the arm taking from the dead? Kendrick went to open the door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. Ain't nothing. Oh, he's quiet. Pieced up. Called out to him, but <gasps> what? what? What was that? One of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's a stone off I'll my... I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You... Ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. Oh. Um... I'm sprawling this estate. Someone's still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. Fresh manure. Fresh manure. I don't like what I saw. This place is giving me the creeps, and I'm kind of scared. This is a horror game?
rather worn, used often. Wonder by who. A baby. Hi. What are you doing in a place like this? Best shoe before you get hurt. Why is he kind of a demon dog? Why do he look like that? A grave here? Is he waiting? Is he waiting? Shame you can't talk. He's waiting? Oh my god, I think he's waiting for his owners. I'm so creeped out. Oh wait, there's something over here. Oh. Water's ice cold. Mountain stream cold. Hmm. The fact that there's no music here makes me kind of throw up. Woods rotted completely. Hmm. Oh my god, I am I'm I'm literally on edge. I'm on edge. I'm scared. Beehives? Beehives. Oh. Well maintained, but dormant. No violet rose here. Maybe somewhere out back. Okay. Ugh, okay. A busted lamp, and the grounds trampled. I'm kind of scared. Somebody dragged something this way. A body? Are we supposed to check the back garden too? Someone dragged a wounded man through here. Prints from cleated boots leading from the back of the garden. Oh God. A baby. Why they? Why they look kind of demonic? I'd scooch along, Kitty. This place. What's that? That digging. What is this? Hi. He's not afraid of me. A lockpick. Must have been the other thieves. Oh my. I'm actually so creeped out. Hello? <laughs> I feel like I'm playing Silent Hill. Oh my god, there he is. Who is that? He can't be a monster if he's burying a body. God, girl's not afraid of anything, it's so hot. Graves, unmarked, laid out in rows, like garden beds. Huh, okay. Hey. Hear me? Oh my god! Other thief. Bodies mutilated. Ew. Oh Who my god. Who are you? He like staples on his feet. Oh god. Damn. Oh! 
No face. That dance. No face. No face. I miss that. Who is he fighting? Like other... Oh, he's getting heals. Oh, no. Oh, absolutely not. Oh, shit. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Maybe this? I don't know. Shit. Shit, shit. Okay, let's try something else. He's getting so many heals! Shit! Shit! Do I gotta kill them all? God. Okay, we're fine. Oh shit. All my weapons are broken, armor's broken. Oh my god! I need to actually pay attention a little bit here. I was doing fine for a second there. was that <laughs> no eyes or nostrils deformed organs damn thing had no right to be alive a baby don't is it a boy hi well philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive exactly normally i'd be shocked but not after what i just saw who are you two Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. Okay. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals. You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. Later. 
What about this thing? What can you tell me? A friend of yours? We called him the Caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very far away? Mm. Meaning where exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olgird von Everick? Yes. We know him, but he left, and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Olgird gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introduction. What are we gonna find? Um, black cat and dog, so, babies? How should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. I gotta repair my stuff. Everything's broken. Hold on. Hold on here. I need to get more armor kits. I don't even think I can craft them. Isn't that hilarious? Can I craft? Boots. Crafting component. Tools? Oh, we can do that. Oh, we don't have a gnomish whetstone. Oh my god. Okay. I guess I've always just repaired my stuff out and about or just whatever I pick up. Um, that was an amazing fight. I love that I... I'm very proud of myself for noticing that he was healing himself. You know, I'm kind of a pro at games. I just like to see like the mechanics a little bit first and I thought that was very cool. Like the animation looked sick and when he charged at you... Amazing. That was a really fun fight. I enjoyed that. I kind of feel bad. He took care of the garden. Like, he's just a baby. Except for not really. I'm just taking a gander. Um, I'm worried about what we're going to find. Oh, hi. Okay, I'm going inside. I'm afraid. What the? Oh god. Why is there so much alcohol everywhere? Can't really see. Oh god. Huh. gonna be some kind of monster right or did she die now i don't remember what no because garrett would be like oh she's dead what the hell oh she a wraith gotta be careful what the what the hell is going on here what is this iris is what the hell was that? Ours is a sketchbook. What's in here? Hold on. Oh my god. I'm so creeped out. Oh my... My house. Oh my god! Hmm, tidy. And everything is clean. Ready for a meal to be served. Caretaker must still set the table.
Oh my god. I know she's upstairs, but I kind of want to just like search the house, I think. Key required, okay. What is this? Oh, that's all geared. All geared as I've never known him. A different man then. I'm just gonna turn on these lights so I can actually see a little bit. Okay. Oh my god, I'm creeped out. Oh my god. Someone to stop me. Okay. We're fine. Take your flower. Happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Oh jeez. Oh, I'm so hmm. creeped out. Fire damage. Interesting. It is interesting. It's locked. That's locked. Um... Why am I creeped out even more? Oh my god. This is the creepiest fucking hallway I've ever seen. What's going on? Oh my gosh, she's healing! No, how do I stop that? I don't know. Oh! Sense. Okay. No, 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 no. Girl, turn around, babe. Not like when you do that. She's got like two more hits on her. Get her. Fire. Oh my god, these the flowers? Search for Iris. Bed chamber. Iris was supposed to be here. Is this Iris? 
gotta be here. Damn it. You wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. Nope. <sighs> and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. Dang. How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief, from loneliness. Why did he leave? Did she die after he left? <clears throat> the deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. You want to leave this place, leave these bodies. <gasps> Surprised? No, not at all. Her ghost's restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm. Maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. <laughs> oh my god, this game is just filled with bangers. Is this the front door, I'm guessing? There we go. Probably by the chair, I would guess, right? She liked to sit here. But this is not a good place for a grave. Sure. Too close to the house. I'll keep searching. Okay. In the flowers? Iris von Everek adored flowers. But she would never want to destroy them. Hmm. All right. I'll dig the grave somewhere else. Hmm. Oh, by her painting thing. This place seems suitable. Yes, she loved to paint. Did Iris von Everick have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do that. He's such a good baby. I'm gonna go, she was a talented painter because this one, I don't know her. This one, she was just someone's wife, but this is about her. Can't say much about Iris von Everek, but I do know I like her paintings. It's a shame her art couldn't bring her greater comfort. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear. Yet all deserve respite and peace in death. Your name's inscribed in this sketchbook. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. You too. 
Got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Oh. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. That's valid. All right, let's try summon her. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you. Should I follow you? All right. What is this place? It's a painting. The painted world. The work of Iris von Everek. How do you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. Strange place. One born of Iris von Everek's dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death it gained substance. Hmm. Pretty fantastic tale. Hard as hell to believe. Yet you'd best believe it, and be on your guard. The painted world is rife with danger. All right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw you examining the tracks outside. Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Hmm. Easy to say. Okay. Spectres of Olgid and his wife, but why aren't they moving? This is a memory. But it's incomplete, blurred. You must peer closely and restore it. Iris was painting the manor. Okay. Painting palette. Mm. Place items that fit the scene where they belong. Oh. She needs a palette for this one, right? Iris was painting the manor. How do I place them? Oh, interact. Probably not right. Oh my god, this is so cool. Okay. 
Oh shit, oh, my bad. Don't touch me. All my armor is just breaking. Everything's breaking right now. What's going on here? Okay. So we gotta find more items. Another memory. Tattered decorations for a special occasion. Hmm. Probably not right. Okay. It's kind of tough. A wedding veil? Probably not for this scene. What is this? Wine cup. Just like the one Olgeard's holding. Oh, okay. Perfect match. Your health. My dear wife. And yours, my husband. In my land, custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. I need none but you. Oh, if only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. Gladly, but... I know this sounds silly, yet the house has sat empty for so long, and I'm... Afraid of spiders. I know. I know. I swept them all up and tossed them in the garden. My knight, you've seen to everything. Is there going to be giant spiders in here? There it is. There it is. Ah, damn it all. Okay. There it is. Not good. I hate when Geralt tells me it's not good. Like, babe, don't worry. going my god I got chasing across the map what's going on here oh my god how many more freaking spiders Coming. Oh. The wraith? No, a nightmare. Huh? A fear crystallized, one you must now face. Super cool. Where is he? Where'd he go? Where is he? Where's the crystallized nightmare? In here? Is any of this unlocked? 
Another dream of the past. Bet this one's incomplete too. Just a little Castel Ribello. Oh god. A Toussaint wine. Expensive. What the fuck is this? A lavish feast. Trying to impress the guests. Silver thread. Pearls. It all must have cost a fortune. Hmm. I literally can't see anything and I'm just hoping for the best. What the fuck is this? Geard's wife liked flowers. Judging by the ornamentation, this might be hers. Am I missing something here? Maybe not this one? Oh. Okay. My darling, is everything all right? You seem pale, out of sorts. Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you. Except, why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa come? It's a long, rugged journey. Muddy. They still refuse to meet me. Is that it? Hmm. And what's this? We brought some of Iris's things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll. Ah, and uh, this for you. Bank notes. We paid off your debts, bought them out, to avoid bringing shame to the family. Oh. So nice of Mama and Papa to remember me. Oh, Gid. Now you see his true nature? I warned you before the wedding. A ruffian and a boar who keeps the company of bandits. Are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? So let's follow him. Okay. Not you again. I don't like this place. What does this mean? That's locked. Upstairs? The bedchamber. Oh. A bloody towel. Towel stained with blood. What is that? Blood stains. Someone washed their hands, then wiped them dry on that towel. What time is it? It's late. Sleep. Up all night in your study again, I see. What have you got on your hands? Nothing. Got a bit dirty, that's it. Is that blood? Have you hurt yourself? Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxenfurt soon. Perhaps you'd come with me. Oh, that's a marvelous idea. A trip would do us both so much good. Then it's decided. 
Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. I shan't fall asleep now. It's out of the question. Come, I shall finish your portrait. Aww. Hmm. Another blurred memory. Okay. She painted all geared, but the details are off. Living tableau's missing something. What's missing something? Oh, Fresh, fruit bowl. As if someone just rinsed it. Living tableau's gotta look just like the painting. Oh, shit. Mm, still not right. I gotta put the apples and stuff right. Oh my god, this is a whole thing, y'all. Okay, grapes on the left. Living tableau's gotta look just like the painting. Fits, I think. This goes here. Mm, still not right. Damn it. I'm missing something else. What is this? Goblet, like the one in the painting. Okay, where's the goblet go? In the back? Living tableau's gotta look just like the painting. Maybe on this side. Finally, just like the picture. Not to brag. Smile a bit wider. Like this. <laughs> oh. You were meant to smile, not bare your teeth. No, still wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry. Please. Hmm? You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I have a bit of work I should see to. Again? Old Geard, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. Old Geard. Old Geard. Oh. Okay. Oh, here's the creepy hallway. Oh my god. Does that even do anything? Can I stop dying? That'd be super sick. Sorry that I'm missing so much. It is very hard for me to see in this house. It's just dark when I play while I'm streaming because of all the lighting and stuff. So like the screen's a little bit hard for me to see sometimes in like these really dark houses. Master von Everick's study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. Okay. What's going on here? What the fuck is this? Pentagrams here to bind summoned beings. Lines aren't all clear though. Need chalk to fix them. Then I can set out the candles. Blood packs on foreign presences? Blood packs. Or on foreign presences. Hmm. A tome about parleying with demons. Okay, that's interesting. These wax candles. 
still need chalk. Oh, here. The gates of mystery between worlds. The library of an occultist. Hmm. Blood for some kind of magic, I bet. Chalk. Manor was depressingly gloomy in the winter. Ugh. Creepy. Okay. <sighs> Black magic. That should do it. Now for the candles. Oh. I guess we should read the book. Need to think this through. A circle must be further secured by bury a form of lit candles made of UX. A circle must shall protect. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. Um. Surround the pentagram. How about this? Come back. We must talk. Go away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once. Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. Hmm. What a complicated life he's had. Hmm. What? Udiano Feus Sova Camisa Yada Sova Camisa. Is this how we turn that prince into a frog? What other spell must I use, damn it? I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon thee! Is he gonna summer summon our guy? Damn it! Fire! In here, quickly! The flames! Douse the flames! Oh! <gasps> I did not expect that. <coughs> oh shit! Oh, we're out of breath. Oh shit. We must find another way out. <laughs> um Damn it. Smack in the middle of a raging blizzard. Gotta find shelter. Get inside. Old gear didn't let them in. They froze to death. Didn't let who in? Oh my god, we're getting hurt. Oh shit. Escape the blizzard, find a way back in the house? Oh my god, the backyard? Oh my god, I'm gonna die out here. Can I hide, like, on this? No, we're dying. We're dying. Oh my god. I don't know how to get back in! Okay, hello? Okay, here it is. Oh my god. Bogeared, Iris, and her father. So this is when he started smoking. Drained to the last drop. Okay. A beer tankard, but there was vodka in it. 
I'm realizing right now that I accidentally missed all the stuff that was outside. No one in the comments yell at me. Like in the first part, or the beginning where she was painting and they got the wedding veil, I, I skipped that somehow because it let me go inside and I missed it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No one yell at me. Marriage hmm. contract. A marriage contract between Iris and Olgeard. We, the undersigned Iris and Olgeard, have agreed to seal our love with a marital contract and bind ourselves to certain covenants. Let this document stand as an oath before the gods that we hold holy, that till death do us part, we shall treat each other with mutual respect and give due hearing to each other's requests and opinions. If separation shall come, we shall each retain a pro all property, both movable and immovable, which we bought, brought into the marriage, and additionally keep shall keep any presents given to each other during the marriage. All income which each receives shall be... Each shall spend as he or she sees fit with all costs and related maids upkeep of the mutual home. It's very wholesome. They want to be partners. I don't know. Maybe this? Not quite. Memory's still incomplete. His is definitely the cup. So that's how he whiled away the long winter evenings. Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed, that you shall heed her counsel and requests, and- Get to the point, father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. You vowed to remain with me till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me. You shall stay here forever. Enough! You will not command us. You will... Servant, take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. Oh. Oh. His father-in-law. Not good. Oh my god, all my weapons and armor has broke so many times this episode. She's Louise. Then Von Everick ceased to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No, he merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. Damn. He remembered he should love her. Wow. I'm a little bummed that I missed the stuff on the outside, but obviously this is progressing when they first fell in love, they got married, and then through the hard times and now the uh, the separation. No one be mad at me that I missed the- but I don't know how it let me just skip ahead, but I did. I missed the, that whole section. My bad. I misunderstood what we were doing. I thought I could go back, but now I'm realizing like we're doing a story, obviously. Anyway, let's get back into it. Oh. I remember. We spent much time together here, the three of us. In silence. We'll take our places, the same as then. You do the rest. I'm so creeped out right now. A large okay. clay bowl. Small bowl. For soup, maybe. Oh, he threw the stuff everywhere? A platter. Hmm. What's on? Claw scratches. What? Animal hair. Hmm. 
Single play setting. No others on the table. Um. I would say he has got the food tray. Perfect match. And maybe he's the large bowl? I think this was yours. Yeah, and then where's the cat? She's got the little bowl. There we go. You actually ate from these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you, care for the house, no matter what happens. Before I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours, I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Olgeard. I want you out of my sight. Olgeard von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. Jeez, okay. So did he become like emotionless, less human, his whole scenario because he was dealing with too much like black magic, summoning demons and shit with his circle, and then now he's got this situation with Gondor Dim? Or is this not, is Gondor Dim not in this section yet? Maybe I'm not supposed to know. He was clearly doing a lot of work with all the summoning stuff. Probably went bad. Lost his personality and treated his wife like shit and trapped her there so she can never leave him. And he's like, oh, but you'll be fine. Here's a caretaker with a creepy face. And here's a cat and dog that are not actually animals. <laughs> okay. My dearest wife, letters from old geared to Iris, where I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade. Especially now, when an icy void grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you wither. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health, and remember but the good times. All geared. It's a big candelabra. Oh god. Oh, there's a few. Say as lifeless and boring. Damn it. The side. Can I get, kill these instead? No, he's not even attacking them. Am I just getting my butt Goodbye. kicked because I'm bad Damn. or what 
What does that mean? Fail. And you'll not be back. Damn, you're ugly. You wonder the delusion you'll complete your tasks. Live happily ever after. your nerve as lifeless and bold as a bolt on the roadside. That's a dangerous man who chose to deal with which all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I don't know if this is helping by the way, but it just feels like Come it on. is. I could try something else. Like we could just be silly goofy. What is going on? Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. Hmm. I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. Oh, poor baby. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. Oh. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. Tell me, 
How is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Uh, well. Your husband's got a powerful enemy. Gontaro Dim. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. Who is he? And how'd he step into your lives? It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? How do I even answer this? He pretends to be happy, but he isn't? Well, I think that's true. He doesn't deserve your concern. I think Olgird just got... I'm gonna say this one. Your husband hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate, because at heart he's unhappy. At heart he is stone, so nothing has changed. And did... did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much, but I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him? His last gift? They're not supposed to give back gifts. Got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little, yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real, and I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. Friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose, feelings we witchers call pins. Hmm. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest, if I take the rose, you might cease to exist, as might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Oh my God, so Is sad. it the void that awaits? I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer. But I fear there will be cold and darkness until... There is nothing at all. Wow. Are we supposed to actually pick? I need the rose. Ooh. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received it. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Olgird. Oh. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. I shall give you the rose. Our service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Oh, you're welcome. Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Glass that can't be broken? So long. What the? I'll remember you. 
Iris von Everek. That no longer matters. Farewell. Well, that's sad. Wow. 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 <clears throat> Level 40. We have 21 points. Oh, God. Well, I hope we didn't miss anything important, but we looked around and did our best here. Iris? New quest. Oh, that's what we're doing right now. I could be totally mean and end the episode here. But, like, should we just wrap this up? You know what I mean? Get the whole quest in. Wow, that was something. I'm very sorry that I missed the few scenes in the beginning, but I feel like we, we, we got the gist, right? We just kind of missed him being more human and obsessed and in love with his wife. That's what we missed. But wow, what a freaking quest, huh? A paint would hit the spot, it would. Mm. I still want to figure out how he got involved with Gontaro Dim, the man of glass. That reference I don't get yet, but um, oh God, here we go. Let's just, okay, here we go. Two points go. and be quick about it. Oh, please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up. And Bob's your uncle. He downs half the barrel in one draft. Geralt! Over here! No, no, no. Wait, he looks. Use the look of a man who knows how to drink. Thanks. Some other time. Hey, now. Don't make me beg. It's my treat. <clears throat> Show off. Of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's a marvelous plaything. And a great spice to use in gingerbread. So, you were listening. Indeed, occasionally I find time manipulation irresistible. Controlling it offers so many appetizing opportunities. Like... Spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately ghastly things. Who are you really? Gauntero Dim, also known... Not what I'm asking. Ah, so you'd rather know what it is I do. In brief, I give folk what they ask for. You might say... I simply grant their wishes. Mm. And drop them in a world of hurt. No, not I. That would be their poorly formulated wishes. I'm no cheat. I give folk what they want, nothing more. That the oft desired unworthy things, that is entirely the fault of their rotten natures. You're not human, that's clear. So what are you? A demon? A djinn? Do you really wish to know? Yes. <laughs> no, Geralt. You don't. 
This one time I shall spare you and not grant your wish. Oh, that's a wish All of ours. All who learned my true name are now either dead or have met an even worse fate. Yet I still need you. For one? For one? What? I have to pause this. I'm obsessed with this character so fucking much because he's so creepy and so calm and relaxed, but like a little quirky and funny. He's literally one of my favorite like villain types. And the way he's like looking down when he talks, he's like looking through his eyebrows when he talks. It's so fucking evil. Look at him. I'm having so much fun right now. I'm having so much fun. I'm so traumatized. I love, I'm obsessed with this. You actually control time? Or is this just some conjurer's trick? What difference does it make? A big one. Hmm. Let us say time has always fascinated me. Mm. So I taught myself how best to use it. Why time of all things? Geralt, there are four dimensions. <laughs> Geralt. Length, width, height, Girth. and time. Sorry. What would you have me fall in love with? Width? Come now. This is so amazing. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? I wanted to congratulate you. You acquitted yourself splendidly with Olgeard. In fact, you've almost satisfied your debt. Was supposed to fulfill his three wishes. Did just that. This is where you remove the brand, because we're even. Nearly. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw all gear to the temple of Lilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, but we did. As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a catch or two. Small print, which nevertheless changes the ultimate meaning of the pact. This applies to oral contracts as well. Recall that I said, and I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well, and once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. End quote. Mm, yeah, I remember. Fulfill your end of the bargain, and I will remove the brand. That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking to someone. <laughs> what the devil? Why is there a fly in my soup? Was waiting. Had an eye out for you. Didn't see you come in. How was it you're here? Um. I'm just going to say that I'm quick. I'm a witcher. Superhuman quickness. Just one of my many qualities. You tossed this fly in my soup? No. Now listen carefully. Tell your Ataman to come to the Temple of Lilvani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. <coughs> What's the commotion? Lilvani's temple. Got it? Aye. Got it. Hold that! Your friend. The medic. She were here. Ask that you look in on her. Thanks. The folk, did you see? My valor stands the on literally three pillars. Dropped dead. Good food, good drink. Blind and drunk good he was. Fun. Maybe he fainted. Fainted? He soaked in blood! No stranger to the bottle, eh? I am... <sighs> what? <laughs> I am obsessed when villains do something so fucking out of pocket just because, to prove a point that they are My so fucking unhinged. Good. This episode was so good and i'm so glad that i'm staying up late to record this so we have an optional step to go see shawnee we are obviously doing that 
But I'm going to end this episode here. This is a, a slight natural break in the story before we head to the, to the temple, which is going to be a whole thing, obviously. So we're going to end this episode here. Again, thank you guys so much for your patience. At this time of recording, I've been a little bit slower with uploads because I've just started a new job. I was sick with a cold for three weeks. We're doing our best, but thank you guys so much for your patience. And I am having literally so much fun. This DLC is so good. Anyone who's not playing the DLC, you're missing out. That's all I can say. You're missing out. So next we are going to go see Shawnee first and then we will continue on with this DLC story in the next episode. If you ever want to hang out me while I'm live, I do also stream over on Twitch. And a huge thank you to all my members and for supporting my channel. I appreciate you guys so very, very much. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss what happens next. I am having such a good time with this villain character with Gontaro Dim. He's so, I don't even have words to describe him, but he's not just like a bad guy. He's interesting and unique and he's like kind of quirky, but he's like kind of funny. And I love that he takes everything very literal because that's how these type of characters, genies, even monsters, bad guys feel like, oh yeah, I'll grant you a wish. But if you don't sp specific, then you get yourself in a world of hurt. And I, I love that where well, you have to like be so literal. I think it's so, it's so unique. Anyway, see, I'm on another tangent. I'm trying to wrap up the episode and I'm, I'm just on a tangent because I'm having such a good time. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.